Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and welcome to Clash of Saiyans. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about Town Hall 9 farming Dark Elixir using Goblin Knife. Now, this strategy has been around for a very long time, uh, but I figured it was time for me to bring you guys a video showing you how to do it to the channel. Um, so we'll jump into a couple replays, and then I will show you a... Um, see if we can find something just to kind of give you the thought process while you're searching for bases on what to do. Now, the general premise of the attack is that you are going to come in, but typically what I do is 14 giants, 100 goblins, 32 archers, clan castle, you can either request if your clan will give it to you, giants, golem, pekka, anything that can tank to get your um, keep everything off of your goblins. And then usually you want about six wall breakers. Um, sometimes the true competition composition will vary. Um, some people take additional giants. Some people take more wall breakers. Some people will bring in more goblins. It all varies. Um, but one of the key things that you want is to have level six goblins because if you don't, the town hall nine wizard towers and mortars can one shot your goblins, making this attack strategy null and void. Um, so kind of the idea is that you are going to use two groups of giants, uh, about three, two to three of them, on each side of the base where you want to enter. Send in the archers behind them, create a funnel, take out anything that could pull the goblins away from the core of the base. And then you are going to basically use the rest of your giants, clan castle if you have um, some type of tanking unit in it. And then you're going to wall breaker open the first wall and then use a jump giving you straight access into the dark elixir and you're just going to basically put down a jump rage and a heal right there on the core so that way your goblins will survive throughout the attack while they are pushing in to get that dark elixir i will keep jumping into some replays though um, as you guys can see uh, depending on the base that I pick, on what I search, I'm pretty low. Um, one of the best leagues probably for this is going to be Crystal or Masters. This is where more of the Town Hall 9s you're going to see, uh, possibly some Town Hall 8s maybe. But they're going to have probably about 2 to 3k Dark Elixir. That's typically what you want to look for. Um, being lower and for me looking for stuff, sometimes I will take some other bases. Uh, but some of the key things, especially on this base, is recognizing that this base, uh, when I went to go hit it, was dead. The expos in the core um, are not fully reloaded, so you know that some of the dark elixir is in the pumps. So that is going to be one of the key things, is locate where is the dark elixir. It's not always going to be all in the storage. Um, so using the funnel, um, I was able to get the pumps on this one, and then just come in once again, create a funnel, wall breaker open that wall, jump, rage, heal right into the core, and then you want to get down the goblins as fast as possible. You don't need every single goblin going in there. You can sometimes use them to help create the funnel, uh, but once you start to get down those goblins, just get them down as fast as you can, whether it's a two, three, four finger drop, um, however you can do it, get them down as fast as possible so that way they are just basically, as you see, storming through the core of the base before the splash damage can catch up to them and they're able to fully grasp all of that Dark Elixir you see on this one. I'm coming out with almost 3k Dark Elixir just like that. Very quick attack, able to get in there, take everything out. Um, like I said, so if you can get some um, giants from your clan, to help you or a golem to tank as it's going right into the core that's going to be huge um, you can see I'm in a request and leave clan right now I don't play this account too often um, so that way I just jumped in here was able to get some free giants from the clan that I was in but we'll take a look even so at the troop composition on this one um, looking at it right there you can see it only takes um, at the very bottom 109 K elixir so it's not really that much and even if you're going to sit there and worry about the trade-off for the elixir it's not that much you will eventually find some bases where you're going to make that back gold's always going to be a surplus it's not going to take you that long to find bases and you're going to be netting huge amounts of dark elixir at town hall nine one of the biggest things to be able to get is the hero grind the hero upgrade i've always said that your main focus at town hall nine should be focusing on getting those heroes up first and then you will always have 
just enough elixir left over. So do not worry about getting the gold elixir. Those will just naturally come. Always focus on getting that dark elixir. Um, like I said, you'll be able to find some Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8. So we'll look at this one. Coming in, once again, funnel on the top, funnel on the bottom side down at 3 o'clock, wall breaker in at 2, jump can connect to the town hall and to the dark storage, get a rage heal in there. You don't always have to hit a town hall 9. I've hit town hall 10s with this strategy. I've hit town hall 9s. I've hit town hall 8. Anything works. If they have the dark elixir that I want and they have the base set up, um, then I'm going to go for it. Like I said, if they have the base set up, Square bases like this where you can get a compartment on the outside that you could wall break or open and then have a jump leading right to the dark elixir are key. You want to avoid kind of the ring style bases where your goblins could essentially just run around and if there's some type of moat or something around the dark elixir, these are the bases you want to avoid because your goblins are not going to have very good pathing to go in there and get that dark elixir. Remember, the key of this attack is to go for the dark elixir and anything else that we get is a bonus. Especially with this attack, you do not always need the queen. And like I said, I've seen variations. I've seen some people bring P.E.K.K.A.s um, instead of a couple of giants. It comes down to how you really want to, what is your attack preference. Uh, but we'll go ahead, jump in, see if we can find something. I'll flip through a couple bases. Um, like I said, I don't play this account too often, so I'm only down at around 1,400 trophies. Um, so not that much. This one we could probably go for. There's a dark elixir storage on the side. Um, the pumps are easily accessible on the other side. Um, so it could be a very good candidate. A jump would be able to get you in. Get that town hall. You'll be able to get 2200 um, dark elixir. But we'll keep going to see what else we can find. Just swapping through a couple bases really quick. A lot of these um, we're going to see real quick. Just go real fast through them. They're not going to have the amount of dark elixir that we want. Um, this right here is an example of what I was talking about for the ring style base that you want to avoid. If you see something like this um, where there's multiple layers, because if you see, even if we come in on this top side, you're going to have where your troops are going to come in. They're going to hit these gold pumps. Then they could possibly run up to the top side, hit these. They could possibly come in the middle to get the storage. You just really can't predict where your goblins are going to go. Um, so that's a base, even though it has almost 3K Dark Elixir, we want to avoid that. That's one of those things I said. Do not go for the ring style bases. This attack is more built and better suited for the box style bases where we can just get in and specifically direct our troops right into that Dark Elixir. I mean, that is literally what we're looking for. Um, so we'll keep swapping through, see what we can find. Hopefully we don't have to search too long. Typically this is not a very long search. Um, if I was up in Crystal or Masters where more Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 8s, 10s have higher amount of Dark Relations, I would be finding better bases. Uh, but the mere fact that I just have not pushed this account is making it a little bit harder to find those bases. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, I am down in gold and I'm still able to find good amounts of bases. Um, here's a dead base right here. If you find dead bases like this, go ahead and hit it. Why not? I mean, all these storages and everything are on the outside, so feel free to be able to take that. You can snipe the town hall. Go ahead and get that, and you're still going to walk away with the star. Uh, but we'll keep going to see if we can find something better for you guys. I want to show you guys a really good example, so um, we're going to keep looking until we can find the perfect one for you guys. But if it's there, feel free to take it. I mean, you don't always have to hit next to find it. I mean, you guys can have multiple attacks. Um, here's a four corners base. These bases are super simple to be able to take out just solely for the fact that you're going to see them a lot. Um, you can t take down the army camps that are right there on the sides of one corner and then just come wall breaker in right into one corner and be able to get right into the core of the base and be able to just snag that dark elixir super fast. Um, here's a town hall aid. Um, easy example right here that we could take um, any side that we really want to attack from we can easily get into the core with a single jump we can wall breaker one of the walls super easy funnel to make um, accidentally just dropped a troop there so it looks like we will be taking this one um, but we are going to come in from this top side up here from the six to nine o'clock side and why because it's the shortest path to that dark elixir right there in the core so we'll get three giants down on the top side get some archers down, make sure we get those camps taken out of the way, get a few more on the top side. There's a few stored um, pumps up here if you want. Feel free. We have 100 goblins plus, so you can drop a few of them in there. Let them take out that stuff, and it's not going to be a big deal. The main thing is we want to get that bomber tower down. 
uh, but we'll send in some wall breakers get that open and then once that is open like I said jump down to the core rage spell leading right into that dark elixir then get that heal spell down it will last long enough so do not hesitate to be able to drop that early and then just have your goblins work their way into that as you see the wizard tower is hitting those goblins a little bit but they are able to step up into that heal and work right through the base before that wizard tower can take them out and they are just going to swarm the back side of the space take out that whole core and we are going to get everything right there before they die no need to even use the queen so this is a very good strategy if your heroes are down if you want to keep putting them down back to back while you're working on them this is the perfect strategy for you you do not need them unlike the super queen strategies giant healers none of those you don't need the queen for this one um, very basic example right there for you guys though um, coming in actually with 200 and almost 40k elixir so right there if you're worried about the elixir cost to make this attack we just made it back right there and then some so if we, the next attack we hit and we're a little bit lower it doesn't matter we already made it back almost got 2k um, elixir off a of town hall 8 which is very simple easy to get quick run in get it the attack typically takes about 22 minutes um, roughly or so to make so it is super fast to make and it will allow you to just keep running this attack back to back I think I ran this casually the other day on my account or on this account and I was easily able to make 30 40 K not even trying so if you guys are going to you know use some gems get those um, barracks going super fast be able to pump out these attacks or sit down and have some time you're gonna make a ton of dark elixir super fast be able to put those heroes down repeatedly and then you're gonna have 33 heroes in no time but that is kinda of gonna be goblin knife for you guys super easy farming strategy super effective if you guys have any questions comments feel free to leave them below I will try to answer everything I can for you guys but until next time this is trunks helping you stay over 9000